Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily ChatGPT and AI videos in your personal and daily life. In today's video, we're going to be building out a Zap that essentially allows you to grab the GBT information and data from one Zapier and pass it over to another Zapier. You're going to be able to use this in a lot of use cases, but for today's video, I'm going to just show you how to build out this type of function. So the type of function we're gonna build uh, essentially for this example is I plan on just having it so when a new person follows my Twitter, I essentially build out a flow where GBT grabs that new person and builds out a nice little tweet. But here's the thing, I don't wanna post it just yet. I wanna just have that data stored so that maybe I set up a scheduler where like three days from now, it will post that tweet. So I can just show you the basic idea behind setting up data from one section and sending it over to another section and there being a delay. There's a lot of use cases for this, but I wanna show you a very simple use case. Now, if what I just said didn't really make sense, make sure to follow along as this is a pretty powerful function that I've been using in a lot of my flows. So let's go ahead and start off. We're gonna say new follower, Twitter. And we're just gonna you know, put a little uh, square back here, say data. And we're gonna go ahead and choose Twitter. And obviously you'd use whatever you know trigger you wanna use in this use case. We're gonna say new follower of me. Let me continue, continue. I'm gonna go ahead and test that. Perfect. So we got our new follower here. We're gonna hit continue. And we're gonna say chat DBT. We're gonna say conversation. And we're gonna say context. This is a new follower to Web Cafe AI Twitter and AI Automation Agency. We do Shift Enter Enter. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we add a Y here. Shift Enter Enter. We're gonna go ahead and say uh, give parameters on the individual. We're gonna say username, or we're gonna say follower name semicolon enter follower name. We're gonna say. Uh, follower description, semicolon, and we're gonna give the follower description here. And then for now, that should be sufficient. In theory, I could grab more information, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just gonna do that. We're gonna say generate a welcome tweet to this follower. Uh, use professional tone. And one other thing I wanna add here so we can make sure we make this as accurate as possible is we're gonna go ahead and make sure we find the at. Which I think in this context is gonna be the follower screen type, but we're gonna say followers at semicolon, and then we're gonna go ahead and just put this. And then for my sake, I think that should be sufficient. I hope I don't have to put quotation marks there, but let's go ahead and see the type of tweet we come up with. As always, when it comes to uh, content that's gonna be ingested by humans, I always suggest using GPT-4. Let's use a memory key of twit, uh, welcome which is gonna be essentially the chat GPT maintaining the specific outputs we want to see here. Let's go and see what this tweet would look like. All right, so we got Welcome Web Cafe AI. We are thrilled to have you as a follower. Your drive to organize the chaos and help business grow is truly inspiring. Looking forward to exchanging valuable insights with you and a at here. I'm actually curious if it was able to grab this at off the profile. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so that is actually pretty cool. So this is the individual that started following us here at Web Cafe AI, and it was actually able, you know, get the at here as well. Pretty, pretty cool stuff here. All right, so now I was able to grab all that information. We can go ahead and make sure we save this information. So this is how we save data to in order to pass it to another possible Zapier. We're gonna go ahead and do the storage function in Zapier, and we're gonna go ahead and say the event. We're gonna say uh, create a value. So let's go ahead and see if I can find that. All right, so it looks like they actually changed it to set value. So we're going to do that. We're going to do set value. We're going to say, all right, so in the context of what a key is, think of it when, if you're familiar with coding, think of it when you identify a, a variable. Obviously, this is not a fixed variable. So in this context, GBT tweet is always going to be changing and interchangeable depending on, you know, when a new follower comes in. So for this context, we're going to say GBT tweet. And what is the current value of GBT tweet? We're going to be what we just created here which is gonna be that, we're gonna hit continue here, test action, and then this should end the flow for now. Now, let's go ahead and grab this data and put it into another Zapier. All right, so I'm creating a new Zapier, we're gonna call it stored tweet. And we just like put in brackets data as well. As always, you know, these are found in the description below, so you can get access to them and directly put them into your project. If you feel like you learned something so far, make sure to like the video, it is completely free and it helps us here at Web Cafe AI. But for now, let's say the context here is that every Sunday, we want to just push out a bunch of these tweets um, and we don't want to send out automatically. So we're going to say uh, every week, and continue, we're going to do day of the week, we'll go ahead and go to Sunday and we'll say we'll send them out at noon, continue again, test that action. 
Perfect. We're going to go ahead and add our block here, which is going to be storage again. And then what we want to do now is we want to say get value. Continue, continue. And our key, if I remember correctly, is GPT tweets. Let's see if that's correct. Test action. And once you know, there is that tweet we just created in that other Zapier flow from here. All we would need to do is go to Twitter. And we're going to say create tweet. Continue, continue. We're going to do our message, the value that we just found there. We do value. And then from there, I hit continue. I could hit publish, and then we are good to go. So every Sunday, it will grab the value that's been stored there and tweet it out. This is pretty valuable information. I wanted to give you a simple use case like this so you can kind of use it for yourself and apply to way more complex situations. Make sure to check out our other videos here at WebCaf AI as we go over a bunch of complex GBT and Zapier automations. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at WebCafe where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.